I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today, we're reading from Psalm 10, verse 4. Here's what it says. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. Again, that was David speaking in Psalm 10, verse 4. In 1517, Martin Luther had an aha moment that would change the world. He realized that, quote, the merciful God justifies us by faith, end quote, and not by works. Where was Luther when he had this epiphany? In a grand library? Maybe walking in a beautiful garden? No. As Luther biographer Eric Metaxas explains, quote, God had given Luther this profound insight while he was sitting on the toilet, end quote. I'm not surprised because even in Luther's day, the outhouse was a rare place of silence and solitude, free from what C.S. Lewis called the kingdom of noise that surrounds you and me to this very day. Everywhere we turn, we are bombarded by external noise. Nonstop emails, texts, information, and entertainment, which leads to a more dangerous internal noise that blocks our ability to think, be creative, and most importantly, listen to the voice of God. That is what David is primarily concerned with in today's passage when he says that the wicked man has no room, no space in his thoughts for God. If that doesn't describe most people today, I don't know what does. As Pastor Kevin DeYoung says, quote, we are always engaged with our thumbs, but rarely engaged with our thoughts, end quote. Which means that we are drowning out the one input we need most. We are inflicting ourselves with what Tim Keller called the torture of divine absence. The solution to this epidemic is simple, but it's not easy. We must embrace practices that help us dissent from the kingdom of noise. Let me offer one simple practice you can start implementing to that end today. I call it my five minutes of nothing rule. Here's what it means. If I have less than five minutes unexpectedly at my disposal, I do absolutely nothing at all. I refuse to fill that crevice of my day with noise. Here's what this could look like for you today. When you show up to a Zoom meeting early and you're waiting for the host to start the meeting, don't check your email. When you head to the bathroom like Luther, refuse to check your phone. When you drive to the bus stop to pick up your kids, Don't press play on your favorite podcast, even if it's this one. What do I recommend you do instead? Be still, pray, and make room in your thoughts for God to speak. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at TWBWFoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. You can sign up right now again for free at TWBWFoundations.com. 